Democrats are now taking aim at Jared Kushner. This is interesting. And, and I, I guarantee you nothing's going to happen between now and January. But in January, we might see some real action on this, and I would love to see it. I, I, I think this would be fascinating. And Democrats have a tendency to say, well, you know, he's out of, you know, assuming that Joe Biden wins in November. And I, I think that's, for me, I believe that's a safe assumption. I mean, time will tell. But uh, we still need to know what the hell, you know, why does Steve Mnuchin get a billion dollars from Saudi Arabia? The foreclosure king. I mean, all this guy did was throw, throw 30,000 Americans out of their homes in California and then become Trump's treasury secretary. And he did something for, you know, Mohammed bin Bonesaw. So, you know, what, what the hell was it? What did Jared Kushner do or give to Saudi Arabia that was worth two billion dollars over the objection of the Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund that was the one who had to write the check. What's going on with this? Well, uh, the House Oversight Committee has been investigating, of course, as you know, Jared, uh, excuse me, Hunter Biden and President Joe Biden. And the, the, a new New York Times report uh, notes, this is uh, this is from the New York Times, quote, this committee cannot claim to be investigating foreign nationals. This is from Jamie Raskin, right, and, and Representative Robert Garcia. They wrote a letter on Tuesday to James Comer, the, the chairman of the Oversight Committee, the Republican from Kentucky. And it says, quote, this committee cannot claim to be investigating foreign nationals' attempts to target and coerce high-ranking U.S. officials' family members by providing money or other benefits in exchange for certain actions while continuing to ignore these matters, these matters being specifically Jared Kushner getting $2 billion. We therefore, they write, urge you to work with us to finally investigate Mr. Kushner's receipt of billions of dollars from foreign governments in deals that appear to be quid pro quos for actions he undertook as senior White House advisor in Donald Trump's administration. Amen. So uh, a Republican spokesman for the committee uh, told Politico, Unlike the Bidens, Jared Kushner has a legitimate business and has a career as a business executive that predates Donald Trump's political career. Well, that's BS. Hunter Biden had a career that predated Joe Biden being in vice president or president. And, and not only that, Jared Kushner's legitimate business was being a slumlord. He has never run an investment firm. But the Saudis gave him $2 billion dollars to, to start an investment firm, something, something he had literally never done in his life. And his father, you know, now his father had run an investment firm, and he went to prison for ripping off its customers. He committed massive financial fraud, Kushner Sr. But that's about as close to an investment firm as Jared ever got. So why did they give him $2 billion? And anyhow, the Republicans go on to say, uh, Democrats' latest letter, for letter is part of their playbook to shield President Biden from oversight. The House Oversight Committee will continue to investigate President Biden's abuse in public office and hold the Bidens accountable for their corruption. All right. <laughs> Good luck with that, you suckers. Uh, or SO whatever. <sighs> Amazing. Meanwhile, over at the Republican National Committee, they're hiring. You know, there was this bloodbath, this so-called bloodbath. 60, 60 employees of the RNC were fired when uh, Lara Trump took over. And now they're hiring to replace many of those people. And guess what? They have some questions for their new hires. The number one question, was the 2020 election stolen? Now, this is incredible. I mean, 60 court cases found it wasn't stolen. Every single state attorney general, Democrat or Republican, has said the election wasn't stolen. Um, the, I, every in serious investigation shows that the election wasn't stolen. There were, there were virtually no irregularities. There were maybe a dozen or so, two dozen people who were busted for illegally voting. Most of them, by the way, voting for, for Donald Trump. Republicans, remember the, the Republicans who got busted down at the Villages, this retirement community, hard right retirement community down in Florida? I mean, it's just, this is just crazy. But this is the question. Now, why would they ask that question, you may ask yourself? Is it just because, you know, hey, I want to show that I'm loyal to Trump? No, it's because they're planning on stealing the election this fall. 
and they're going to justify it by saying, well, maybe maybe we lost this year, but we didn't lose two, four years ago, and this is just going to make up for it. They stole an election from us, we're going to steal an election from them. I guarantee you, that's the kind of conversation, that's the kind of logic, that's the kind of twisted thinking that is happening right now among the senior leadership of the Republican Party or justifications or rationalizations or whatever the appropriate word is. That's what's going on. And the Biden team is getting ready for this. I'll be telling you about that in the second hour. But, but these Republicans, they're not even hiding it. I mean, they're talking right now about how the election, I mean, Donald Trump is already talking about how the 2024 election has already been rigged. They're going to try and steal another election. This whole Donald Trump, Kerry Lake, you know, election denialism, blah, blah, blah. And whether they steal it or not, it's doing serious damage to our democracy. Democracies, you know, they, they say, you know, the Supreme Court's only authority rests in public approval. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't have an army. It doesn't have control of the purse. Well, the same is true for our, our, our democracy as a whole. If people don't trust our democratic systems, specifically our elections, then they're willing to embrace an alternative system like fascism, as is being currently promoted by Donald Trump, the Republican National Committee, and a lot of Republicans in elected office across the United States. This is a very real problem.